Here we are in section 2.3. We're going to solve all these problems. There's going to be three steps that will help us to solve them all. That is to simplify it, get rid of any parentheses, and combine, that's hard to read, but combine all the x's together. Uh, then we'll be left with addition, subtraction, and then division. So let's go ahead and do it over here, starting with number 24. We don't have any parentheses, but these p's are in the two different locations. We can't get them by themselves alone if they're in two different locations. So I'm going to choose to get rid of this one. Now you could, if you want to, get rid of that one, but I'm going to add p here. That'll get rid of it. have to do it to the other side of the equals sign to keep it balanced. And we have 6p plus 12 equals 33. Now if we subtract 12 from both sides, we get 6p equals 21, and then divide by 6, divide by 6, and we get p equals 21 over 6. Simplify that fraction by 3 over 3, and that's 7 over 3, over 2, 7 over 2, or 3.5. So 7 halves. Number 25, we look, we're going to simplify it, get rid of the parentheses first. So we have 7n plus 18 equals 5n minus 10. The n's are still in two locations. We can get rid of this 5n right here. Now if you choose, you could have gotten rid of the 7n. That would have been fine. But most people want to get rid of it, so they're left with a positive n right here. 2n plus 18 equals a negative 10. Subtract 18, and we get 2n equals negative 28. And divide by 2, and we get n equals a negative 14. Good. Number 26. Ooh, these x, do we have any parentheses? Nope. So let's combine them together. Uh, we got to get rid of either that guy or that guy. Let's get rid of this one. Subtract 5x from both sides. Subtract 5x from both sides. And we get negative 10 equals 7. Ooh, that's embarrassing. Look at that thing. Oh, look, yucky. That never happens. Negative 10 does not equal negative 7, no matter what x will be. So there is no solution on that one right there. Number 27. x minus 7 equals 15x. Um, I think, let me see, we probably will get rid of, we could get rid of the 15x or the x. I'll get rid of the x because it's a little bit smaller. So subtract x from both sides. And we're at negative 7 equals 14x. Now, so we've simplified, we're going to add or subtract. Nope, we don't need to. All that we have to get rid of is divide by 14. And this reduces down to negative 1 half. Good deal. x equals negative 1 half. Number 28. OK, we've got to get rid of the parentheses first. So we're going to jump that guy in. Don't forget, that's a negative 4. So this is 2x minus 4x plus 12. Ooh, I'm going to highlight that plus sign because that is important. Then that equals negative 2x plus 12. So we have 2x minus 4x is negative 2x plus 12 equals negative 2x plus 12. Something looks a little fishy there. But let's continue on with our process. We get down here and try to combine like terms together to get them all the same place. Let's get rid of that guy. Plus 2x. Plus 2x there. We're left with 12 equals 12. That always happens. 12 is always equal to 12 no matter what happens to x, so this is all numbers. Good deal. Number 29. 0.07x equals 13 minus 0.12x. Uh, we could choose to get rid of this x or to get rid of that x to combine them together. Let's pick this one so we can get all the x's over here with the numbers on the other side. We get 0.19x equals 13. Divide by 0.19, we get x equals 13 divided by 0.19. And punch that into your calculator, and you get 68.42. Number 30. First step, simplify by getting rid of any parentheses. 
that's 2.1x minus 1.4 equals 3.5x plus 1. Now we've got to combine all the x's together, so we've got to get and the x gone from either here or here. Let's get rid of the big one, just for once. We've been doing the small one all the time. Minus 3.5x minus 3.5x, and we get negative 1.4x minus 1.4 equals 1. So add 1.4 to the other side, and we get negative 1.4x equals 2.4 and then divide both sides by negative 1.4 2.4 over negative 1.4 and it equals when we punch it out it will be a negative 1.71 or you could rewrite this as negative 12 over 7 if you were to put it into a fraction either one of those is fine number 31 uh, no parentheses to get rid of, so we just need to worry about combining them together. On this side, we have a 0.3 and a 2, so that's 2.3x minus 9 equals 4x minus 3. Then we get, if we subtract this 2.3x, subtract this 2.3x here, so that guy's gone, we now have negative 9 equals 1.7x minus 3. Add 3 over here, and we get negative 6 equals 1.7x. Divide by 1.7, divide by 1.7, and we get x equals negative 3.53. For number 32, 0.4y equals 78 plus 0.4y. We have y's in two different locations. Let's try to get all the y's over to the left hand side since the numbers are over here. Subtract 0.4y there and subtract that from the other side here and we end up with 0 equals 78. Oh! Doesn't that just embarrass you? That never happens. So that means we will not have a solution. No solution here. No solution. Good. Number 33. Ooh, this looks like kind of a big one. We first get rid of the parentheses. So we have 7x minus 35 minus 3x equals 4x minus 35. How many x's do we have over here? We have 4x over here. 4x minus 35 equals 4x minus 35. Uh-oh, something fishy's going on. Let's keep going. Try to get the x's together by getting rid of this one over here. We have to do it to both sides. We're ending up with negative 35 equals negative 35. And this always happens. No matter what x equals, negative 35 is equal to negative 35. So the answer is all numbers. Good. Number 34. 9x minus 4. We're going to jump that in there like that. So we get 9x minus 4x plus 12. Make sure you're aware of that sign right there because it's a negative 4 times a negative 3 equals 15x. 9x minus 4x, that's 5x plus 12 equals 15x. So we've got to get these two together. So let's try that. We could either get rid of the 15x or the 5x. Let's get rid of the 5x because we've got some numbers over here and we don't have them over there. So we now have 12 equals 10x. Divide by 10, divide by 10, and we have x equals, that reduces down to 6 fifths or 1.2. Okay, number 35, the last one here. 2x minus 3x plus 7x. We don't have any parentheses, but we need to combine these together. 2 minus 3 is negative 1 plus 7. That, that's 6x over here, and that's 17x over here on this other side. Now we've got to get the x's together, so let's get rid of one of these. So we have 0 equals 17 minus 6, 11x. Uh, divide both sides by 11, and it equals 0. And that's perfectly fine right there. Good.